interesting day. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name's Artie with CoinCasso, and this is Bitcoin Today, a show where we talk about everything cryptocurrency to keep you guys up to date and informed on all things happening in the crypto industry. In today's video, we discuss Bitcoin jumping above 9,400 despite weak volumes in July. And Litecoin is finally in the news as traders abandon Litecoin, why are people still holding on to it? The answer might be the question in our last article, maybe ADA and Litecoin will have a joint venture. And because we've gotten such a great response on it, I'm doing more in-depth technical analysis. And we also cover the current top cryptocurrency prices. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday, July 9th. Thank you so much for joining me every single day. I appreciate all the love and support you guys have been giving me. And if you're new here and you like what you see in this video, consider subscribing down below and ticking the notification bell to get notified every time we upload a new video. And as always, the show is sponsored by the CoinCasso Cryptocurrency Exchange. So if you're looking for a place to buy, sell, and trade cryptocurrencies, check out CoinCasso in the link in the description below. Now let's jump into these prices. Bitcoin currently sitting at $9,400.51 up 1.43% from yesterday. Ethereum up 2.7% at $245.53. EOS up 2.5% at $2.66. Litecoin also up 2% at $45.13. And XRP doing really, really well, up 3.7% at 0 0.203711. Cardano, on the other hand, also known as ADA, down 4.3% at 0 0.124036. 24-hour volume on the top cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin 9 19.3 billion, Ethereum 9.8 billion, XRP 1.6 billion, Cardano 917 million, and Litecoin 2 billion. Now let's jump into TradingView and do a quick analysis on Bitcoin as well as ADA. Now, if you've been watching my videos over the past week, you've seen me talking about this downtrend that we've been on in Bitcoin. We've actually broken through this downtrend but there's something interesting that I've noticed that I want to share with you guys. Okay, so I want you guys to not be the typical retail investor in cryptocurrencies or Forex or whatever you may trade. I want to show you specific strategies that huge financial institutions and whales use to manipulate the price. I know this has happened to you because it's happened to everybody that I speak to. They think that the price is going one direction, so they get in either a long or a short, and the price reverses, taking out their stop loss and they end up losing money on it. This happens nine times out of 10 and you're sitting there scratching your head, what just happened? Let's dive in closer and look at Bitcoin over its stagnation period and what it's doing right now. Okay, this is the start of July. We've had this long, absolutely boring, nothing happened to Bitcoin accumulation. Then we saw a huge spike up, then a huge spike down, and now we're on an upwards climb. This is what banks, financial institutions, and whales love. Long period of stagnation, they intentionally cause the price to go up, making everybody think that the price is going to skyrocket now because it hasn't been doing anything, correct? It starts going up, people start buying in, then once they have enough people buying in, they sell off, causing all of these people that bought long to get locked in. They usually have their stop losses at the previous point, correct? They force the price action all the way down to here, causing all of these people's stop losses to get executed and subsequently making all of these retail traders funds their own. They keep pushing the price action down, causing new retail traders to go short on the position. Retail traders short stop losses are just above this threshold. They cause the price action to go down even further, causing even more people to go short thinking that the price is actually on a huge downtrend because it reversed off this resistance point. This right here is the complete greedy, money-hungry, a-hole move, dropping lower than the previous lowest low, making everybody believe it's on a huge downtrend, making everybody do short orders, and then boom, straight back up, locking up all of these people and locking up all of these people. And historically, financial institutions like to do about a two and a half to three day trend in either direction. Then once they reach the top, they hit a double top, 
and reverse back down. Their strategy though is to never let these people have their money back. So as the price goes down, the next lowest low and consolidation will happen here. Now again, this is all in theory, but if you look back at the history and you look at how financial institutions actually trade, because they're the ones that spend hundreds of millions of dollars, if not billions of dollars, trying to make money off of the rest of us. This may look good to the traditional retail investor, but that's what they want you to think. They want you to think that the price is running to the moon and guess what they do? They pull the rug out from under your feet and cause you to lose all of your money. So I don't know, I think this is correct. I think that the price will drop back down maybe to I don't know, maybe 9,100 or maybe just above at 9,200 to prevent all these other people that went short. So I honestly don't know 100% what's going to happen. Maybe between this 9,100, $9,200 range and then it'll consolidate for a little bit. I just want you guys to do your research. I want you to be informed before you think that Bitcoin's going to the moon and then you get stuck in a position and you lose a lot of your money. Now let's jump into Cardano. Yesterday's video, we did see this pullback here. I said that the price would correct down and then we would continue you another uptrend. I honestly don't think big financial institutions are manipulating the price on Cardano just yet. They usually stick to the much larger cryptocurrencies because that's a much larger pool of money to steal from. I think this is just a simple correction and we should keep going up. I don't know what the limit is on Cardano, but I am very optimistic. I think possibly we might be able to get up to 25 cents. But Cardano is in the news today with Litecoin, so let's jump into those. But first, an article on Bitcoin. Bitcoin jumps past 9,400 despite weak July volumes. Weaker Bitcoin volumes aren't stopping the price from going up. Bitcoin trading around 9,444 as of 8 p.m. UTC, gaining 2% over the previous 24 hours. Bitcoin's 24-hour range was 9,200 to 9,474. BTC is above the 10 and 50-day moving averages, a very bullish signal for market technicians. Trading volume on Wednesday are higher than Tuesday. Bitcoin became oversold in the short-term perspective last week for the first time since mid-March. This seems to be giving way to an uptick in the short-term momentum, which has been weak since late May. This is like confirming exactly what I said in my technical analysis. I read through this whole article and literally like low volumes, but the price is still going up. Who is doing that? Market makers. People with lots and lots and lots of money causing the price to go up, getting everybody incentivized to like, oh, maybe Bitcoin's running up. Let's throw a bunch of money at it and then boom, short. Be careful, guys. If you don't know what I'm talking about or if you want to confirm what I'm talking about, look up a market maker strategy. These are huge financial institutions making big moves in the market to manipulate the price to take everybody else's money because the only way to make money is to get money from somebody else. And when it comes to cryptocurrencies or Forex, if you're a market maker and you want to make people's money, you have to make them think it's going in a certain direction, causing them to invest their money in that direction and then reverse it. Next article. If crypto traders abandon Litecoin, why are investors hoarding LTC? Price-wise, Litecoin has had a pretty rough year and currently and currently the altcoin is down 51% over the past 12 months. The lack of activity and upgrades have Litecoin founder Charlie Lee to admit 2019 saw a historic low in the number of developers working on Litecoin Core. Litecoin trading volumes dropped to a two-year low. Volume is the single most relevant indicator of traders' interest, and Litecoin has been failing miserably in this area. Trading volumes on major exchanges have been trending downwards for the past 12 months, and has recently dropped to its lowest price in two years. Blah, 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 blah. So after so many negative indicators, one would expect holders' activity to display weakness as both the price and network usage have been trending down for over a year. One could also mention the lackluster performance of recent code advancements, including the Mimble Wimble technology privacy capability proposed in October 2019. Oddly enough, the opposite holds as 63.8% of Litecoin's supply remains untouched in the past 12 months, the highest it's ever been. Conclusion, there's no way to assure the rationale behind such hoarding activity, but its impact over circulation supply is a net positive. Now, the most important part of this article, recently investors have been speculating about a potential Litecoin integration with Cardano, ADA. If true, this could be a bullish factor for Litecoin, which leads us into our next article, which is more of a headline than an article. Could a Cardano and Litecoin team up be in the works? Cardano founder Charles Hoskinson recently said that he would not mind working with Litecoin founder Charlie Lee to test cross-chain communication. 
patients. It would be great to do something together, Hoskins said in a July 7th tweet to Lee. Both men founded industry giants. Hoskinson founded Cardano, which at press time sits seventh on the list of crypto assets in market cap. Litecoin maintains the eighth spot. Both figureheads hold notable status in the crypto and blockchain space. So is this a possibility? Could Cardano be teaming up with Litecoin, join forces and merge and make like this really, really fast and super useful cryptocurrency? No one knows for sure because Twitter can't be trusted. Let me know what you guys think. Yes or no? Leave it in the comment section down below and don't forget to leave a like on this video on your way out and we will see you back here tomorrow.